Hello guys, today's video is going to be about the photoelectric effect. We all know that Albert Einstein came with a lot of discoveries. For, for example, he came with energy equals to mass times speed of light squared. He also came with special relativity. Special relativity relativity also he could have explained the photoelectric effect photoelectric effect and thanks to that he could have won Nobel Prize And that's going to be our lesson for today. Okay, let's define the photoelectric effect. First of all, Einstein defined light as being light as being a discrete packets of energy called photons. Photons. The energy of that photons is E equals H times F with H being Planck's constant Planck's constant and it equals to 6.63 times 10 to the power negative 34 joules second F here is the frequency frequency on earth so if we shine that piece of metal with a beam of light beam of light made of photons photons with the energy equals to h times f as i mentioned before we will notice that uh, electrons from that surface will escape with a maximum speed which means the kinetic energy here will be maximum maximum these electrons will be called photo photoelectrons electrons and that's what you call the photoelectric effect. In this experience, we take our metal. In this case, we have sodium, sodium, and we shine it with light at a very long frequency. But in this case, we don't notice any electrons are moving around. So we will increase the frequency of light. It's still increasing, but we don't notice anything. We're still increasing the frequency till hitting a specific frequency. In this case, it's 5.64 times 10 to the power 14 hertz. This frequency is called threshold frequency. So, starting from this frequency, we start to notice electrons moving around. Let's plot kinetic energy as a function of frequency. So at low frequencies, we tend to notice any electrons moving. Moving. Okay, so we don't have any response here. Till we get at, at a specific frequency called three short frequency. Frequency. Let's call it F0. So starting from that frequency, we will notice electrons start to move with the kinetic energy. Okay, let's extrapolate this right here. Good. So this is a linear function. Let's write it straight like that. Linear function. So y equals to a x plus 
B. In this case, Y is kinetic energy max. X is going to be A is H. Okay. B in this case is going to be the acceleration of that graph right here. This is phi. We call it work function. This is the minimum energy needed to eject electrons. So it's going to be minus phi. This is the kinetic energy max. This is the energy of the photon and this is the work function. So the energy of that photon is equal to kinetic energy plus phi, the work function. This equation is called Einstein, Einstein's photoelectric, photoelectric equation. Let's finish with an exercise. The work function energy of platinum is nine times 10 to the power negative 19 joule. Calculate the T-short frequency for the emission of photoelectrons from platinum. So, question A. Is there now with another color? Okay. So, we are looking for the T-short Frequency Frequency F0 Let's use Einstein's equation H F is equal to Kinetic energy Max Plus work function When the F The frequency is equal to F0 The kinetic energy will be Zero Okay, so H F0 will equal to work function. So F0 is going to be work function divided by Planck's constant. Okay, so it's going to be 9.0 times 10 to the power. And it's negative 19 divided by 6.63 times 10 to the power negative 34. Okay, F0 is going to be, F0 is going to be 1.4 times 10 to the power 15. Earth. Good. This is the threshold frequency for platinum. Question B. The maximum kinetic energy of a photoelectron when radiation of frequency 2.0 times 10 to the power 15 Earth is incident on a platinum surface. So let's calculate the maximum kinetic energy. Question B. Okay, we will use the same equation. H F is equal to the kinetic energy max plus phi. So the kinetic energy max it's going to be HF minus the work function, which means HF minus minus HF zero. So H is going to be F 
minus f zero. This is Planck's constant. It's going to be six point sixty three times ten to the power negative thirty four times f is two pole times 10 to the power 15 hertz minus 1.4 times 10 to the power 15 hertz again so the kinetic energy will be 4 times 10 to the power negative 19 joules okay this is the kinetic energy max thank you for watching this video if you have any question please don't hesitate